Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video from the Ingenious Engineer. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to program an electronic speed controller with Arduino. Let's get started. Electronic speed controllers are really easy to program since they are nearly the same as coding servos. If you don't know how to code servos, I'll put a link in the description box below for my video on how to program servos. ESCs are used everywhere to control the speed of brushed DC motors and brushless motors. Here is an image of a brushed ESC with all of the wires labeled. On the far left is the power wire, which connects to the battery to power the ESC and the motor. Next to that is the motor connection wire, which connects to the motor. In a brushless ESC, there will be three wires to connect to the motor instead of two. Next is the on-off switch, which turns the ESC on and off. Finally is the cable with three wires. The white one is the data cable, which connects to the Arduino's digital pins, so that the Arduino can send signals to the ESC and control the motor. The black one is the ground pin, which connects to the Arduino's ground to complete the circuit. In the middle is the five volt pin. However, instead of taking five volts from the Arduino, this ESC has something called a BEC integrated in it, which is a battery eliminator circuit. This makes it so that you don't need a separate battery to power the Arduino and the ESC. The middle 5 volt pin is connected to the Arduino's VIN pin and powers the Arduino. This makes it so that you only need one battery to power the ESC, the motor, and the Arduino at the same time. Most ESCs come with an integrated battery eliminator circuit, but some don't. When choosing an ESC, it is important to make sure that you choose the ESC with the right amperage. For example, if your battery and motor setup use 25 amps, then it is safest to go for a 30 amp ESC. If you choose an ESC with an amperage of 25 or below, you risk the ESC heating up and catching fire, which can release toxic chemicals into the air. Here's the wiring diagram for the ESC. Here's the code to control the ESC. I'll put a link to it in the description box down below. Since it is programmed the same as a servo, we have to first include the servo library. Next, we name the servo. Then we continue to the void setup, where we let the Arduino know that the ESC is connected to pin 9. This section over here arms the ESC. This is required for the ESC to run the motor. The ESC.write function is used to control the speed of the motor. 0 is turned off, while 180 is the fastest speed. After arming the ESC, we continue to the void loop. Here, we turn the ESC on for a second. I used 50, as I found that was a reasonable speed. Then, we turn the ESC off for a second. This will repeat until the code is turned off. Here's the completed circuit. I'm using a 7.4 volt battery and this DC motor in the setup. The setup uses 20 amps of current and my 30 amp ESC should do just fine. Here's the Arduino. I'm using an Arduino Nano. You can see the orange wire here, which is connected to the red wire of the ESC. It goes down here and connects to the VIN pin of the Arduino Nano, powering it up. When I turn on the switch, you should see the Arduino light up, just like that. After the ESC arms in five seconds, the motor should turn on. The motor turns on and off once every second, just like it's supposed to. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. That would help me make more fun content in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.